everybody, it's Janet and I'm here for Islet Outlet. I've got 20 minutes today full of amazing card ideas that will help you in your creative journey using our products. Before I get into it, I want to thank you all, our loyal customers and all of our new customers for your support. I have two announcements to make. The first is yes, we do have a discount that I'll tell you about soon, but also we have a, a prize announcement coming at the end of this presentation. So stay tuned till the end to find out how to enter. I'd like to tell you about our show special. We have 20% off of everything in the store, even clearance items. Just use code REDSOCKS when you check out to get that sale. And this will be good today through July 12th. One of our most popular products is washi tape. We have over 800 styles on the website and we get more all the time. Here's a photo of a few of our newest washi tapes and you can always see what's new by clicking on the decorative washi tape category at the store. So you may wonder, what can you do with it? Well, there's so many uses for washi tape, but one that never fails is to use it as backgrounds or even mats for cards. Here's a great example from Lauren Burgold. This is a card base with two backgrounds made of washi tapes that color coordinate, and then she shows how you can use an ATC sized card to create a bigger one by just putting that on top. This is our vacuum and broom brads. For you ATC traders, wouldn't this be a great way to trade your cards, plus it would protect the card while it was in the mail. The brads used here are the brush and hair dryer brads and the computer and headphone brads. These printables come from tailored expressions and are free. They're called Big Grumpy COVID-19 Sentiments if you want to look them up. This one from Don Mercedes it uses our star foil washi tape for the background and gold glitter washi as an accent. The brads are the wizard hat and lightning bolts brad, the wizard set with the wand, the glasses, and the scarf brads and the book brads, and the sketch doll brads. She also includes some glitter star enamel dots. Here's another from Lauren showing our book washi tape as the mat for both the bookmark and the matching card. She shows another use for the wizard set with the glasses on this one, plus she uses the book brads and mini round brads for accents. Next up are two cards using our sloth and koala brads. These two cards are great examples of using washi tape for a background. This one uses our wide male washi tape and it also includes our male brads and sloth brads. This is our coordinating sloth washi tape and Lauren's got the sloths hanging onto a sewn cord but it could also be done with a marker. Here's another great example using our shell washi as a background plus our compass brad, sandcastle brad, and our sun and cloud set. And for the final touch she included the palm tree brads. I've shown a few examples of using washi tape now, so I want to do a quick demo of how this works. I'm going to use one of my favorites, which is the sky washi tape, to show how this is done. I've got a card panel here, and let's say if I wanted a sky at the top, I would take the washi tape and apply strips of it until it covered the area I wanted. You can see I have the first row in place now, and I'm going to put a second row down. Now I'm doing this upside down just so that I can see it better when I'm doing it on camera. But you'll want to, in some cases, offset the washi tape pattern, like I did here. Sometimes you can just do it straight on top of uh, one on top of the other, and it makes no difference. And other times it helps to offset to get a little bit of a different pattern variation. So I've got three layers there now, and I'm going to put a fourth layer on. And this will create enough space to make the area I need for the card to have a sky at the top. And I think it looks great. You can't even tell that that's not pattern paper. Here are two examples of using sky washi tape to create a scene. This one is by Susan Creech and she uses two strips as a background for the sloth brad. She also uses the mini leaf brads that work so great on tree cuts. And this is one I've made with the background as well. I used a marker to make the volcano explosions right at the top of my volcanoes, but on the washi tape. And the dinos used are our newest brad set, plus I've used our palm tree brads and the sun and cloud brads. The background are washi tapes as well. This is green glitter pattern washi and the foil strip washi placed at an angle. Here's a couple other favorite backgrounds you can use for scene making. This is our brick washi. Doesn't that look great? Lauren also uses our beer washi to suggest a bar scene. And the counter is our wood washi tape to make a masculine birthday card. I think this just is a great combo right here. 
This super clever card from our design team also makes good use of the wood washi and the book washi to create a library scene. Also added are our selfie brads, computer and headphone brads, and our book brads. For the dog lovers out there, I've got two cute ones for you. First up is this card by Lauren. It uses our geometric washi for the mat, and the brads are called Long Dog. In this photo, you can see a similar card, but it uses the paw washi tape as the background. If you like these dogs, I've got a shopping tip for you. These are on clearance, so with the sale discount, you can pick these up for 71 cents. So go get them because there's not a bunch left. Next, I'm going to show you some washi tape accent ideas. These both feature our new Dino Brads. This one uses copper glitter washi to create a mat. Now, I think this is a brilliant thing to do because the tape gives the look without the waste. And Don uses several other washi tapes, including the flower washi, to create the sediment scene. I love how she has one of the bone eyelets hidden in the sediment. She also uses some perfectly color coordinated matte enamel brads and some bling. On this one, she used the geometric washi as a landing place for the dinos on the tag. She added the sun and palm tree brads, plus some pearl bling and clear sequins to finish this one off. It, they both have a really cool look to them. Here's another fun gift idea. Susan Creech made this bookmark using our book washi again and also our dino and palm tree brads. How cute is that? This is another cutie from Dawn. She uses farm washi tape on pink cardstock, and she left a strip of cardstock showing between the washi strips to give it a more stripy look. Love that. She tied it in with a strip of thin pink washi at the top, and the brads she used are the pig brads, chicken brads, and the chick brads. She also used our clear sequins to add some additional shine. Here are three wonderful cards using the two safari washi tapes in our store. These also feature our jungle brads and our lion tiger zebra brad set, so you can get a whole jungle of things with just those two sets. These also use a little white space between the strips of washi to create a designer striped paper effect. So I've talked a lot about our washi tapes so far, but it's really hard not to since we have over 800 styles to choose from. But as they say on TV, wait, there's more. Eyelet Outlet carries a ton of enamel dots, bling, and sequins. There are a lot of styles and colors of our bling, and our strip bling is really great because you just peel off a strip and place it on your project. Here I'm taking one of Don Mercedes' cards and I'm just applying a strip of orange bling at the bottom, which color coordinates with the geomet geometric washi tape on her little white card panel above. So once you got it placed, you just snip it, or you can snip it after you've sort of measured it by eye, and then push it down to apply it. And I just wanted to show you the strip here and how that just comes off and makes it really easy to put it around anything, even 3D objects. Here are some small note cards I made using pink and clear strip bling. And guess what guys, this is not pretty botanical paper that costs a fortune. This is one of our new washi tapes called Wide Flower Washi Tape. It has six floral scenes which I put on white cardstock and then cut with a die. This is a whopping two and an eighth inches wide. As an accent, I also included butterflies, one each on this card from our Butterfly Brad set. Here are two more cards that really feature our sequins. This one by Susan Matthews is gorgeous and uses our sequins on the hero letters as well as the star sequins on the flag. Also used here is our eagle brads, flag and hat brads, and our patriotic stars. This uses our sequins in a shaker card. Susan Creech added the crown and tiara brads, plus our frog brads, and some pretty pink bling and a green enameled heart to make this lovely card. Here are two more cuties. Susan Matthews made this uber cute encouragement card for a young lady or a lady with a young heart, right? And she used our unicorn brads and clear diamond bling. This card has super shine combined with all of this and the pattern paper. Now the next one I wanna show you is by Susan Creech and it shows off our chick brads and our green and yellow heart enamel dots. So you see hearts definitely don't need to be red or pink. I enjoy how she used the footprints meeting in the middle. Really, really cute. 
Next, I want to show you some humorous quarantine cards. This one by Susan Matthews is so funny. Here the animals are practicing social distancing as they wait for their vet appointments. She has used deer brads, zebra brads, kitty brads, horse brads, and our puppy brads. She used thin yellow washi to put the wait here signs on the sidewalk. Brick washi tape would work well as the sidewalk too. Here's another funny quarantine card by Susan Creech. So if 2020 were a pinata, I think it would be a beehive full of angry bees. I love this kind of meme style card. And this one features our mini bee brads. And you could use a stamp or any beehive die cut to make this one. This one is so great for the littles in our life. Susan Matthews explains what Zoom is while showing a bunch of cute kids having an online dance party. She uses our butterfly washi, our building block washi, chevron washi, and our glitter heart washi tape as backgrounds. She's also got the computer and headphone brads as well as our music note brads. This one is so perfect for our times. People have been asking about nursing brads, so I'm going to show you this one as my last quarantine card today. It features our pink, red, and white heart brads and our nurse brads. So if you have a special nurse in your life, you should get these brads and make them a thank you or encouragement card like no other they will ever receive from anyone else. Let's switch gears a little now and focus on cards that always give us card makers trouble, masculine cards. I have a bunch to show you that can be used for thank you, birthday, or Father's Day cards. First up is a card by Susan Creech, which features our classic car brads. And guess what? The map background is our washi tape. This would work for every occasion, so it would be good to make and keep in your stash for a card emergency. Here's another masculine card featuring our classic car brads and our compass brads. Lauren cleverly uses an assortment of washi tapes and torn paper strips to create a background. Here she uses our map washi, our brick washi, and even some copper foil washi. It's a great look. If you have a handyman in your life, these two ideas will be perfect. The first on the left features our screw brads. And the paper in this one has tools, but you could create this look with our brad sets as shown on the right card if you don't have the tool paper. The one on the right has our tool brads, saw brads, toolbox and nail brads, and our screw brads. Don also used two strips of measuring tape washi on this card. Just change up the sentiments on both of these to birthday or thank you messages and you've got perfect cards for the guys. Next up are two cards I've made. The left is good for a music lover. It uses our record vinyl brads, the computer and headphone brads, and our music note brads. Strips of thin glitter washi tape accent this card in the background. And I just want to promote that the washi tape we have does not shed at all. You'll never get, you know, random glitter everywhere. This is another beer related card. It says wish you were beer and inside it says I really miss you. I used our beer brad set here and it has both the bottles and the beer mugs. These next two are a hoot. Here we have ties made of various washi tapes hanging on our hanger brads and our wood hanger brads. These are very simple to make but if you don't want to fussy cut them you can make yourself a template. Then just trace your template on the washi tape, cut, and place them on your card. It's super simple and they're really going to love it. And here's another one for the guy in your life who really enjoys getting outside and fishing. This one features both our fishing pole brads and our fish brads. If you have any fisherman in your life of any age, or maybe even a fisher girl, you need to get these sets for cards and scrapbook layouts. Now I've talked about our washi, bling, and tons of brads. There's another product category and that's our paper flowers. We have many colors and these are just a few. They come in a bag of 40 in three different sizes. And these are great to layer or to use by themselves with our brad or bling in the centers. Here's a look at more of our flowers displayed on this pretty banner. They are a variety of colors, sizes, and patterns. In this example, different pearl and bling brads are used in the centers and you'll also notice the accents which are butterfly brads, bee brads, and leaf brads. Now flowers are flowers, but here's another use of them shown by Dawn. She cut petals off of green pattern flowers and used them as leaves like in this card. And she used them here for little accents as well. These cards feature our sloth and koala brads and our chick brads, mini ladybug brads, and this beautiful strip of pearl and pink jewel bling. Okay, so now let's go through a few cards by theme. 
First up are a couple of donut cards. This one by Don is pretty cute. I do think the center of a donut is 100% fat free. <laughs> and it uses our yummy looking donut brads and pink pearl bling. Now this one is by Susan Creech and she's made a donut box to house the donuts and it's very 3D. Isn't that cool? I'm telling you, they're making me hungry. So let's change from sugar treats to another vice. How about wine? This next one from Lauren is pretty funny as well. I'm sure many of you agree that wine is the answer, but maybe you have forgotten the question. If so, this one is for you. Our wine washi is used on the bottom half of the card and it also has our wine brads and our grape brads. This next one combines a little fantasy and wine. I did this one and it uses our wine washi as a border and then combines our unicorn and wine brads to make a new creature called a winicorn. This also uses the grape brads and a few clear sequins. I'm just gonna say that I want to believe in winicorns more than I wanna believe in unicorns. Well, after wine, you might like coffee, so I think it's time to look at coffee-themed brads. First up are these two cards, which feature our cat washi and our eye washi as backgrounds. These are the same sentiments, but everything is arranged a little bit differently for two unique looks. Here's another coffee theme card from Lauren using our coffee brads. She used our colorful donut washi as the background. I can so relate to this one. I cannot start my day without a good dose of strong coffee. I'm telling you, there is a theme of washi tape for almost anything in the world you can think of. If you've been to our shows, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I also want to let you know that with our discount, our washi tape price is exactly as the same as it's discounted during the shows. So if you've been eating donuts, coffee, and wine, you might end up making a trip to the dentist. These cards crack me up every time I see them. Get it? Crowns crack? Ah, I try. Lauren did a great job making these meme style cards. Anyway, these are our new Apothecary Bottles Washi and our Scrumptious Macaroon Washi. The crowns come from our Crown and Tiara brads. If you like the sentiments, check out our freebies page on the blog after we're done to pick up these sentiments in horizontal and vertical format. Then you can decorate them any way you like. I've shown many birthday cards today, but here's two more that are perfect for a boy and a girl. The first by Lauren features our dino brads and cut out circles and large chunky letters. This one by Susan Creech uses our party hat brads, chicken brads, and the bright balloon brads. These are both so cute. And again, they're just perfect for boys or for girls. Let's do some more thank you cards now. The first is super simple. A strip of our wide glitter book washi is the focal point and placed on a simple pre-printed thank you card. What a great idea for the quickest card ever. And this would also be great for both a male and a female recipient. I'm finishing up with two cards from Lauren and Don. This one is good again for a guy and it says, dude, you rock. The record vinyl brads, music brads, and computer and headphone brads are placed wonderfully here. Gold glitter washi forms the mat and even uses our red star sequence for the perfect touch. This one shows off the koala in the sloth and koala brad set. It also uses our bright balloon brads and sequins and bling. This one is from Don Mercedes. These both are great thank you cards. Well, thanks for sticking with me to the end. As I mentioned at the beginning, I have a contest to announce. We want to get your Brad ideas. So head on over to our Facebook page. Just look us up there. Uh, like the page and comment with your idea. And then we're going to draw randomly from that list to pick a winner. And that winner will get it, an Islet Outlet prize pack that you will really, really enjoy. So I hope you will head on over there, like our page, give us an idea, and get in that drawing. And one more time before I go, I do want to remind you about our show special, 20% off of everything. Use code REDSOX when you check out. And that's good today through July 12th. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the great ideas for your own card making. Remember to head on over to our Facebook page to enter our contest. Coupon code REDSOX will give you 20% off through the 12th as well. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you again real soon. Thanks so much. Bye.